Welcome to today's Technical Corner. I'm with Simon Docker from Open Mind UK. Simon, today we're going to explore um, the benefits of using Hypermill software. And I think what's interesting about today's episode is I'm, I'm going to come at this as completely naive to how CAM works. And I'm going to put myself in a position to you as someone that's maybe got a machine shop. I've just bought a couple of machining centers uh, and I'm machining simple sort of prismatic parts. And I'm thinking to myself, right, I need to become more efficient. Okay, so I haven't got any CAM, but I'm about to embark on the journey to look at it. What are the things I need to look for? Well, I think first and foremost, um, we find that most customers, uh, certainly in, in the entry level market, they're looking at ease of use. Uh, I think they, they also have to consider cost, obviously, uh, has been a major factor. Uh, capability, you know, let's not forget that, you know, it might be an entry level CAM system, but what's the scope to grow as, as I take on more and more uh, complex parts if, if I do in the future and um, yeah as well I say, let's take all those points in independently and let's look mm. at the first one ease of use yeah uh, you know where, where, where is Hypermill when it comes to how how easy it is to control to use and to learn well this taking this part uh, as, a, as an example um, because of its feature recognition module with inside of Hypermill we can take a 3D part and automatically recognize the holes, the features, the depths of the holes, the size of the holes, the, the size of the pockets and depths of the pockets, etc. So that, that reduces the programming time immensely. So you can automatically recognize the majority of that component, for example, if it was that one, but before yeah. it done anything. So, so it's yeah. kind of laying out the foundations for the program pretty much immediately. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, you know, where traditionally this would have been punched in on a controller. Uh, and how accurate is that, though? How, how does it how does it maintain its as accurate as a CNC machine? Right. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Good point. Okay. Then the, the second point um, we talked about is cost. Or you mentioned is cost. So let's look at Hypermill for maybe um, somebody that looks at your software and they see all these lovely uh, basketball nets being made, helmets. Yeah. Um, you know, lovely five-axis simultaneous parts, and they think, well. I've got my machine, but Hypermill, it's, it's going to be out of my reach. Mm. Uh, how would you ar answer or argue against that? Well, although they're wonderful to look at on YouTube, um, you know, let's face it, the majority of our customers are, you know, this is a, a, a bread and butter part, you know, which is their, their daily parts day in, day out. Yeah, for sure, we've got a lot of customers doing very high complex parts, but still a, a, a large amount of customers are, are still you know doing quite simple simple basic 2d parts but in answer to that question would you say that you are um kind of eggs for eggs if that if that's the the case against some of the other cam systems in in the market when it comes to entry level yeah absolutely i mean it's um you know everybody's got to start somewhere and i think that it's it's such a modulated system with hypermill you only need to buy what you need mm -hmm. so you can start at the entry level which is still pretty comprehensive in the in the cycles it does offer but then as your needs and requirements increase, you can grow with Hypermill and just add, add other modules on as you need them. So it takes you on that journey. Yeah. Okay, before we conclude this technical corner, then I'm, I'm going to say I'm in that position, Simon. I, mm. This is a typical part that I'm making. In fact, some of these, all these parts on this table are. Uh, why should I be looking at Hypermill as my solution for my first entry into CAM? Well, as I mentioned before, I mean, it's, it's ease of use and Hypermill is a very easy to use and easy to learn system. And further to what I said as well, you know, rather than reach the limit of that CAM system when you talk, start taking on more, slightly more complex work, which means a financial reinvestment and also a skill reinvestment to train up the staff, you can stay with the same product throughout, the, throughout your life. So w once you're a customer of Hypermill, you'll always be a customer of Hypermill. You'll and never it, outgrow it. And it doesn't matter what machine tool I've got. No. It, again, it, it can be any brand. It can be any any style, any make. You can post to that. I'm never going to have any issues with getting my communications from one to the other. Gantry, style machines, uh, yeah, rotary style machines, vertical, horizontal CNC, three axis, five axis. It doesn't matter. Good stuff. So there you have it. If you're if you're starting to uh, to, to invest in, in the likes of CAM systems or thinking about going down or embarking on that journey, then Hypermill could be a solution for you, even if it is the most basic of, of components that you're making that you want to improve at the speed that you program them and make them at. Thank you very much, Simon. No, thanks, Paul.